Hi, my name is Przemek Chujecki and this episode is about doing a PhD, but doing a PhD in data science. So if you're down the path of being a data scientist, you might wonder whether a, date, a PhD is for you and what kind of PhD you should do. So first of all, there are a couple of issues related to whether you should do PhD at all. And those involves actually your character and whether you should actually go this path of doing research on your own for a couple of years. Uh, so this is not for everyone, but if you enjoy research problems, if you enjoy thinking about really deep technical, uh, theoretical issues, this is definitely something you should try. Uh, I'm a huge fan of actually trying to do a PhD and even not completing that and moving forward because uh, it doesn't have really drawbacks, really, apart even not lost time, uh, even not lost money, because uh, the time will be spent on learning very valuable things and learning a lot. And actually, often you get a subsidy or you get a grant or uh, you will be even paid for uh, doing a PhD. That's not a great money compared to the industry, whether you will be working in a, a, some of the large corporations like Facebook or Google, but it's still something. So I don't think there are really any drawbacks if you were to do a PhD in data science. The, the question is what a PhD in data science is because there are rarely degrees which are called like that. So most of the time, people who are thinking about doing a PhD in something related to that are either doing a PhD in computer science and they specialize in either machine learning or something related to that like algorithmic approaches uh, to different problems. Uh, there are many issues you can, there are many problems and many, many domains you can treat with that. On the other hand, if you prefer to be more on the business side, there are different data science degrees uh, in applied mathematics like statistics or at the, on the verge of economics and statistics and that also will be a PhD in data science and will, you will be much closer to business. So that really depends on how much coding you want to do, how much theoretical you want to go and whether that, that is a PhD in data science that you want to do or a PhD in machine learning, deep learning uh, in particular. So both choices are fine, it just really depends on your career choices and whether which direction you want to go really. Whether you want to be more closer to business or closer to coding and uh, computer science side, that's up to you. Uh, Option number three, the option I have chosen at some point was doing a PhD in mathematics uh, and either pure mathematics, applied mathematics, that's, uh, that's really good because that gives you all the tool set. So it doesn't really uh, apply directly to machine learning, but actually the framework uh, will give you really good basis for learning everything uh, that you will need in machine learning later on. So that's also a viable path to choose uh, if you were to do a PhD in something related to data science. Uh, yeah, so all those choices are great. Um, actually, the biggest question is whether you can really do a PhD and whether that's something for you because this, uh, the only cost actually is whether you'll be able to spend this three, four, five years on doing research and really going very, very deep on a very niche, narrow problem uh, that you'll spend most of your waking hours thinking about. Uh, because that's the life of a PhD student. There are really a lot of stressful moments where you have to come up with original research. You don't, you have no idea where it's all going. So you better have that somehow uh, thought about before you apply. Uh, but apart from that, I'm all for trying and going for a PhD program, for a graduate program, and then resign if you don't like it. Uh, that's also a viable path. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.